Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be rebuilding the electronic parking brake on the car. Um, it started to seize, I'm getting some handbrake faults, so I'm going to rebuild it now before it locks on. It's now off, as you can see, there's heat marks, and as you spin this, you can just hear the grinding. Well, it should turn a bit more freaky than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to release it on the app. Um, I've got the ignition on and the OBD2 reader on, and we're going to get into service, and we're going to release the electronic parking brake open. And we can take off the parking brake. The dashboard comes up with the parking brake is inactive. Yeah. Cool. The parking brake has been released, you know we take them off and work on your brakes. To disassemble the brakes, we're going to take off the two slide pin bolts. These are 7mm Allens and behind two caps. We're then going to remove the retaining clip from the caliper. I had some difficulty freeing up my caliper as it was so seized on. So my caliper is particularly seized on, um, so I'm going to have to use some pry bars and get it off. Um, disconnect the electrical connector on my handbrake. This is so fiddly, um, I sprayed it with some penetrating fluid just to help the plastic. Um, I'll put some contact cleaner when I put it back together. Um, but yeah, it's just a case of getting that off and then getting this brake assembly off. There's a clip to take off. Um, which holds on the caliper, and then you should be able to push this out. So as you can see, I've got the brake line clamp on the flexi bit. Um, there's the piston, it looks a bit tired. You can take off this bolt and then the whole thing can just come off. Okay, with the caliper now inside, we're now going to give a bit of a clean up. Um, I'm going to spray some APC on it, put some gloves on, clean this up, and then we'll take the stepper motor off. Okay, so the next step is we're going to basically be disassembling the rest of this and replacing the seals here, here, there, and um, yeah. Just a quick interruption here in the video, do not um, wind back the caliper using that spline drive thing at the end. Um, this electronic parking brake has a load of ball bearings inside and if you wind it, um, when you take the piston out, then they will all just drop on the floor and you have to get replacement inside of the caliper. So, warning now, do not remove it. I did it, and luckily I caught all the ball bearings, but do not do it. So what we are going to do instead is we're going to remove the circlip at the end of the shaft. 
This can be done very gently using some screwdrivers. The piston and parking brake assembly can then be pushed out very gently from the shaft. Here we can remove the boot from the piston. At the bottom of the boot there's a small metal ring that needs to be removed. This can be done by fitting a screwdriver inside the gap. Just a quick note, there are these two um, plates that sit behind the parking brake assembly. There's a small washer and a ball bearing disc. I chose to paint my caliper during the refurbishment process. I'm now going to start reassembling it. To start reassembly, we're going to replace the seal on the inside of the caliper barrel. This can be taken out with a pick or a small screwdriver. I've also cleaned off the surface where the new boot will mount onto the caliper piston. Okay, so we're now going to insert the caliper piston into the caliper and to do this, put this back together um, and then, so this is the order they go and the bearings go in this way up on top, make sure the snap ring is still on here, like that, and then the washer as you can see will go on top like that, um, would be worth just greasing it lightly with some brake fluid. Um, I've just greased the shaft lightly because it's going to sit on the seal um, and then we can insert this from the underside. Um, it's quite important when you do the seal here that this surface is clean because it's an interference fit. So the seal needs to sit on here. Um, be really careful not to tear the seal um, as they tear really easy when you insert it.
Okay, so the cap is now all assembled, um, so we can go put it on the car, and we we put in the brake pads, and then attach the brake line, and bleed these up. So I've just installed a caliper, I've put the spring clip back on, brake caliper, brake lines put in, I'm about to release it. I'm gonna get the, the bleeder kit so I can bleed the line. Slide pins in, everything's greased up, the caliper moves freely, and brake's plugged in. Um, so we have just got the bleeder um, set up. It's the master cylinder, it's not leaking, um, Love the minimum line. I'm going to go release the clamp and then release the bleeder pull and then I'm going to bleed it into a bottle. Um, I've got this tray here as well just in case it drips. I'm going to try and not spill brake fluid everywhere because that'll be good. So it would have taken some time for the fluid to flow out and fill the caliper up. Cool. I'm now going to release the electronic handbrake. Um, engage on the car. I'm going to test it. Okay, so we can now release, um, as we know the parking brake is working, we can now release the pressure on the brake cylinder and then we can test the brakes to work um, and move freely, which is the whole point of why we did this. Um, I'm going to do a final bleed just to remove any air bubbles now that we've released the handbrake. Um, yeah, put the wheel back on.